one of the playoffs, all that. Should they consider shutting down Justin Fields for the rest of the season? Because Chris Canty of Canty and Carlin fame thinks they should. We know what we need to know. I don't mind what Canty is saying. I, I just believe six games to go, he needs the reps. If he's capable of playing, this is not like there's one game left, there's two games left, there's six games to go. If he's capable of playing and getting back in it, let's say he doesn't play this Sunday, but he's able to play the following Sunday, the following Sunday, the following Sunday, and you go ahead and you play him. I, either way, there's not a right or a wrong, in my opinion, when it comes to Justin Fields. Because I believe he needs the reps. He needs to learn how to play professional football, not just in the sample size of three or four games that he's taken the NFL by storm with his ability over these last month or so. I want to see a little bit more. If he's healthy enough to do it, roll him out there. I'm not playing him anymore. I'm done. I'm done playing him. I mean, look, he leads the NFL in sacks pretty much, right? So, I mean, we talk about him, the bumps, the bruises, the dislocated shoulder now, the designed run plays by Matt Eberflus. Like, there's nothing else for Justin Fields to play. He's led this team. He's been accountable. He showed up. He's done all the hard work. Chicago recognizes that they have their franchise quarterback. So I, I get people, I, I get key, we're going to talk about reps, but like, he's gotten all the reps he needs. It's time to get him some weapons and him not being the main weapon all the time and feeling the need to do everything, which only puts him in more harm's way. They're last in the conference. Where are they going right now? Yeah, you got to play him though, Jay. You can't, if he's healthy enough to play and there's no cracks in his shoulder, there's no, you know, fractures or anything like that, and it's just an AC joint that's stiff and sore, if when he's ready to go, he should be out on the football field. Yeah, I understand the, 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 I understand the risk factor that you take with a guy that's your future, but you got six games to go. This is not the 14th game of the season, the 15th, 16th game of the season. You're still, you know, with six games to go. Now, if he misses some time in the next several weeks and he's not in the lineup, that's a different conversation. Now you're like, okay, well, forget it. But if he's capable of playing, you line him up and you let him go get those reps, man. I, yeah, here's the question, really. Key, and I'll defer to you on this for obvious reasons. I, it seems to me on the one hand, he had a wasted rookie year. It's not completely a waste, but you could write it off to experience. He got to know the league a little bit, all that kind of stuff. But it's basically a wasted rookie year. That's why you will frequently say you really count this as his first year. I get that. So he needs the reps. He needs the game reps right now. Yeah. Like, Canty's right. Chris Canty's right when he's talking about we already know what we need to know in terms of he's the future. Okay, but it's not as about us getting the knowledge. It's about him getting the experience. The question is, though, how do you weigh that against a, sh a shoulder injury? It's a non-throwing shoulder, but a shoulder injury because he's running the ball, because they don't have a good offensive line, and there are they have six games left. At some point, you might want to sit him down. It's not about making the playoffs. But at what point would that be, Key, if you're like, you got to play him for now. I sign up for that. I do think he needs the experience. At what point do you go, okay, now we're going to sit him? Like I said, so let's assume he's not going to play this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Let's just assume that. But he's ready to go the following week. Right. He's in the saddle. He's in the saddle the following week, which would be week 13. Then he's in the saddle 14 and 15. And then if he's uncomfortable and he's not feeling good, I could sit him in 16 and 17. But if, it, but if he's going to miss this Sunday, the next Sunday, the next Sunday, then I'm, there's no need to play him the last three games of the season. Uh, all I'm saying then here is why saying, play him, well, then why play him then at why all? Then why play him so now? Like, I'm trying it, to follow that logic. Because, it, because, because if he's healthy enough to play right now, then you go ahead and you play him. But why? If he's, but, but key, if so he's healthy if he, to play, then why not play him? If he has a dislocated shoulder, that's one aspect of it. Yeah. Right? But if. James Key, you love it. Well, from an offensive standpoint, I would tell my staff we need to pull back on the design runs. We need to just pull back on it. His instincts will take over that you can't, you cannot um, remove him from his instincts. You can run the football with the traditional running game with the running backs. You can do those sort of things. You don't have to have him run the football. You don't have to drop him back 30 times that now he has to run the football when everything breaks down. You can design your offense in the last part of the season so he can still be effective 
and you still be able to get him the reps that he needs so he can see things a certain way. I, I Again, I'm not saying and I'm not advocating that they should play him. What I'm saying, if he's healthy enough to play, you play him. And if it's not, then you just rest him up. Keyshawn, J. Will and Max brought to you by CSX. Join CSX, a company on the move. CX, CSX.com <laughs> slash careers. CSX. Let's get back to the calls. Who's your sports villain? Mar in Philly. Hey, what's up, y'all? My, my sports villain is J. Will mm. and all of the guards from Duke. Damn. It started with Bobby Hurley. Oh, wow. Listen, it started with Bobby Hurley. And from then on, I can't listen. Not because... They wasn't it, because they were so good, and they was beating everybody. With a North Carolina fan, went to high school with uh, Rashid Wallace. So yeah, yeah, those I hate it. No, mind you now, Jay Will as a professional, love him, excellent. But as a college guard in Duke, oh, he, I couldn't stand him. Yeah. Always made a shot, always going to the hole. Couldn't, oh man, couldn't stand him. Yeah, so couldn't he, stand he him. Right, Mar, I, I get that. I get it. I mean, just lumping me with every other Duke guard though. That's, uh, but I get it. Max, I'm going to try to help you in the, in your draft. Yeah. Somebody texts me. They goes, Max they go, is Max. messing around with all carbs or something. Makes no sense. He needs a protein. <laughs> I'm going to have a protein, but there's plenty of proteins available. Plenty, plenty of turkey preparations. Once we're allowed to have any turkey preparation, I strategically cornered the market on some key foods. You, you do key realize all the, all the turkeys are off the board. Yeah, no, no, there are, other, there are other turkeys. There is only, you can't Absolutely. just make up a what, turkey. I'm not making it up. What? You can braise a turkey. You can have a garlic <laughs> turkey. You can have a lot of different kinds of turkey. Garlic turkey. Well, if you can have a smoked turkey, a traditional turkey, or a fried turkey, you can slow roast the turkey. You can do all types of stuff. A, a slow roast turkey, turkey, is, turkey is a traditional you can, turkey. Okay, you Max? can grill a turkey. If you want to oh, talk about God. you can. He, here he goes. Trying to be slick, but you, oh, I'm trying to be slick. I took stuffing, and then Key took Cajun style cornbread stuffing. There's just so <laughs> many. There's on, so man. many Cajun. Hey, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be slick. I'm gonna. Right? Key naturally slick though. Key, key, oh key's my like, God. He's like, I'm not taking stuffing. This kid has never heard of Cajun stuffing. Of cornbread yes, stuffing. stuffing but I can't like, take I a grilled take, turkey, yeah, KJ. That's true. You did. You did say I'll take the Cajun stuffing. Yeah, but I can't have a grilled turkey. <laughs> no one who grills a turkey. <laughs> and not only that, even if all the protein off the turkeys were off the board, why would I then take something else? Let me 